Hey there, still Huntress, and uh, I'm doing my final VRs for uh, Gypsy Chicks Art of Tarot series. As I mentioned in my previous one, please pardon the background, we're still doing renos. And um, we are on Trump 18, which is the moon. I have to admit the moon is very an enigmatic card for me, and I think everybody has a little bit of trouble with the moon. It's a little bit oogly boogly. Um, I think we can acknowledge that the Robin Wood deck has um, a very Rider Waite Smith moon card. You've got the domesticated dog and the wolf flanking a path that goes off into the mountains. Uh, you have these two obelisks or stone thingamajiggers, and you have a pool. And in the pool is a like a crayfishy, lobstery thing. Now, in the Robin Wood, it's really small. I'm, I don't know if you can even see it. It's super tiny. The size of a shrimp. But it's there. So, um, primordial form of life rising from the, the water. Uh, our, the two sides of ourselves, the domesticated and the wild, but still related, not as different as we like to think they are, and us having to travel the middle road from the nascent beginning into the distance. Okay, sure, let's go with that. Um, moon is, of course intuition and water, so we got that stuff going on. So very rider weighty. My other deck is the Wildwood. Doo -doo. It is Moon on Water, which is, uh, sounds like a 70s rock ballad. Um, so we've got the water, we've got the moon. Instead of the um, crayfishy thing, we have the world egg. We have another form of nascent potential um, in this watery, woomy world here. Uh, we have the, the bull, who was always a representation of, of fertility. We have the storks, who brought babies. We have water and the moon, obviously. So you have a lot of symbols of, of fertility and sexuality and birth in this card. So, um, but no path, which is interesting. I mean, the central message of this guy is the path. It's all about the path, where everything is structured around the path. There is a noticeable absence of a path here which I think is a, is a really fundamental difference between the two cards. Besides the differences in all of the other symbolisms, there's no path. So to me, that is what really sets the two of them apart. But um, both really amazing, and I'm, I'm really loving the Wildwood. It's a really different deck, and um, opens up different perspectives on the classic tarot, so I highly recommend people get it. So uh, hope that's been enjoyable. Hope you like the decks. And I'm looking forward to seeing other VRs. Comment below. Blessed be.